In this video, we'll write the equation for cobalt 2 phosphate plus water. So we're going to take our solid cobalt 2 phosphate and we're going to put it in liquid water and we want to know what happens. So we need to figure out whether the cobalt 2 phosphate will actually dissolve in water. And we can use the solubility rules here. So we're looking for either cobalt 2 or the phosphate. And here at the bottom, most phosphates, that PO4 3 minus, they're insoluble with a few exceptions. So this cobalt 2 phosphate, it won't dissolve in water. You put this in water, it just falls to the bottom of the test tube. It remains a solid. So there's really not much of an equation to write here. We should note that when we have something that's insoluble, a little bit of it will dissolve. So we could write the equation for the very small amount of the cobalt 2 phosphate that dissolves in the water. So we know the phosphate ion, the whole thing, is 3 minus, and we have two of them. So the cobalt, that has to be 2 plus, so the charges balance out. 3 times 2 plus is 6 plus, and that'll balance the 6 minus. So in the products, we could have 3 of the cobalt 2 ions, and then we could have 2 of our phosphate ions. And since these are dissolved in water, let's put AQ for aqueous after each one. And this would be the equation for the very small amount of cobalt 2 phosphate that dissolves in water. But almost all of it remains a solid and falls to the bottom of the test tube. Sometimes for this equation, you would see the water written on top of the arrow there. So this is Dr. B with the equation for CO3 PO4 2 plus H2O. Really, nothing happens. Most of the solid falls to the bottom since it's insoluble. But we would have a very, very small amount dissolving to form these ions. Thanks for watching.